<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Faith and Love Academy. I am Serena, here again with another video. This one is going to be short and sweet. Today I thought I would talk to you about the two books that set the foundation for my homeschool. Um, I wanted to do a quick, I don't know, like I guess a book recommendation video and I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, which books could I say were genuinely like game changers for me in my homeschool. I get a lot of questions about confidence in homeschool, which I am not always the most confident homeschooling mom, but I do think that I do have a, a certain level of confidence in homeschooling. and. I think that these two books were really major in setting that foundation for me so I thought I would share them with you. The first one that I wanted to talk about, which one should I talk about first? I really love them both. Um, uh, I guess I'll talk about this one first. This one is a homeschooling book kind of sort of but less about the education side and more about the homeschool mom side I guess but this book is just called desperate and it is hope for the mom who needs to breathe and this is by Sarah May and Sally Clarkson um, if you've been doing homeschool research for a little bit you probably definitely heard of them and they were just a blessing to me when I found them. I think I read this book, I'm trying to figure out, I can't remember if I read it right after I had Savannah or right before. I think it was right after I had Savannah because I was suffering from postpartum depression for real and I thought I was gonna lose it. <laughs> and I'm like, I have these three kids, I am not doing well, and how am I supposed to homeschool on top of this? This is just not happening. It was a serious freak out. And I came across this book, I'm not even sure how, I promise you it was probably God, somehow, some way, but um, I read the title, Desperate. And that was just basically me. And I love that they have this mom just laying out here like she has just had enough. Anyway, um, I'll just read the back of it a little bit. I just can't be a mother today. These words have been whispered to God in quiet desperation by mothers who love their children to the depths of their souls, but who are struggling with how hard motherhood is. Motherhood turns you inside out. Sometimes you feel overwhelmed by how tired you feel. The days go on and on and you want to be a good mom, but you feel like a failure so much of the time. What happened to all your ideals? When did you end up feeling so lost? Sarah May and Sally Clarkson have been to the edge and back. Desperate is the story of one young mother's trials and one experienced mentor's priceless ex exhortations. Desperate is not a book about despair, nor is it a rule Latin mothering manual. It is a life offering filled with encouragement, help, and answers to some of your heart-wrenching, honest questions. This book was incredible. It really touched on everything that I was feeling at the time and still feel from time to time. It gives it gave scriptures that really helped lay the foundation and solidify their thoughts. Um, it, I loved it because it is from the two perspectives. It is this young mother and then there is this older, wiser mentor of a mother who they just created this beautiful relationship together. Like I really, I'm feeling all the feels right now because I'm remembering what it was like to read this book. But they created this beautiful um, bond and relationship together and were able to help lift one another up in this whole deal we call mothering. And I felt like this was really important. I mean, they are homeschool mothers, so it definitely applies. But the root of it is that, you know, before the homeschool teacher, you are the mother. And that is the reason why you have that strong to desire to be the homeschool teacher. And so they really can't be separated. They are one in the same. And this book really addressed that for me. And it was, oh, it 
was so life-giving and to be completely transparent I was basically to the point where I had gone to the doctor I had been um, prescribed uh, antidepressants depression medication for postpartum and I I just found this at the same time and this was my medicine I did not take the medication I'm not saying that anything is wrong with the medication but I found this at the same time and this is the reason why you know I didn't go down the other path this really I found healing and oh gosh I just loved this book so much and it just had a lot of personal accounts in it and it just addresses so many of those things that you're too afraid to say like will these kids get off of me <laughs> You know, or how am I supposed to make it tomorrow? Or I wake up in the morning and I feel like I just want to close my eyes and go back to sleep at night. And um, so a lot of the things that you could feel shame for, this book um, addressed. And I love it. And I recommend it for sure. Um, I'm actually going to go through and read it again. It just has all the relevant scriptures that have to do with homeschooling and mothering. It's just amazing. So I would suggest this for sure. I picked it up. I actually had it on audiobook and I would definitely I had it on audiobook and I had it on um yeah, oh it was a uh, what's it called when the book is on your iPad. Anyway. <laughs> so I read it those way that way and then I just recently picked it up from the library and um and I plan on reading that again. So this one is a must read. The second book that I wanted to talk about is called The Brainy Bunch. And this is The Harding Family's Method to College Ready by Age 12. This was when I just started homeschooling and I inhaled this book, okay? Brian was working at a job and we actually traveled together, went away for the night. And in the hotel room, I stayed up all night and start to finish. This was the first time I had ever read a book this fast. It was this book. I could not put it down and I didn't put it down until it was done. So um, this is basically the story of Kip and Mona Lisa Harding and they had had, they had how many children? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had ten children. Is that right? Anyway, I'm trying to hurry up because my battery is dying. But this is just basically a very simple, honest. Um, it made me feel like homeschooling was doable, and that I was so grateful for. So I'll just read you a little excerpt. Um, if the Harding family can do it, your family can too. Having six out of ten kids go to college is no small feat on its own, but having six kids in college by the age of 12, that's nothing short of incredible. Meet Kip and Mona Lisa Harding, high school sweethearts whose simple homeschooling method produced exactly those extraordinary results. Kip and Mona Lisa are parents to an engineer who earned her BS in mathematics at 17, an architect who finished her five-year program at 18 and became the youngest member of the American Institute of Architects, a Navy physician who earned her biology degree at 17, an entrepreneur who earned a BA in English at 15, and an, M and an MS in computer science at 17. I could go on and on and on, but basically it says the Hardings are the first to say that they're not geniuses, nor do they run a strict high-pressure household. Instead, they find out early what really motivates their children, instill their kids with dreams, um, allow those dreams to blossom. In a remarkable down-to-earth narrative that is part captivating memoir, part invaluable guidebook for parents, Kip and Mona Lisa reveal with warmth and humility the strategies behind their family's amazing educational accomplishments. Filled with daily regimens, advice for providing children with fulfilling experiences that be go beyond the home, and tips for making the transition to college, theirs is an inspirational real-life success story that anyone can achieve whether you homeschool your children or not. I loved this book. It was just exactly what it said. It was so down to earth. It made it feel like you could definitely do it. Um, and I love that. I'm reading other books now about different homeschooling methods like Charlotte Mason and um, Montessori. And I love uh, reading about those methods, but sometimes they can 
there's so much that you may identify with but I found that a lot of times I'm like how am I supposed to do that it's like um, having to change your whole life into fit this mold that is this homeschooling method and what I've learned now is that it's okay to read those books and just take out the parts that you really really um, identify with and implement those things little bit by little bit but you can still stay you and this book to me just really gave me that foundation that said that it doesn't have to be over complicated and lately I feel like I've been over complicating homeschool in my mind so I wanted to bring myself back down to simple earth and um, and read this again but I would definitely recommend this for the start of your homeschool because it was just such a simple approach she gives you amazing tips from her own experiences I just loved it so much and I could go on and on but I won't because I know my battery is gonna die but basically you guys these were the two books that really were just game-changing for me and just built the foundations for me in homeschool for us so I I I would like to know if you guys have read either of these books and what you thought about them or what are some other books that you read that really did that for you guys in your homeschool. So um, I'm also thinking about maybe doing a giveaway. So many of you guys have reached out to me about starting homeschool and I'm always hesitant about giving tips and advice because I'm not the pro, I don't have all the answers, I make changes all the time, but we're in this together and if this can be helpful to you, like it was helpful to me, uh, that makes me happy. So anyway, I'm trying to wrap this up you guys. Um, just make sure that, I hope you like this video, I hope it was helpful to you, I hope you enjoyed listening to me chit chat. Uh, just make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see more videos from us and give this video a thumbs Thumbs up if you like this type of video and make sure to hit that little bell button if you're not receiving notifications about when we post so again thank you guys so much for watching so 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 much for watching and I will see you in our next video bye